Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to get the Sturm. It's an exotic hand can you get here in Destiny 2. It's a fairly lengthy quest line that you got to complete in order to get it. Now you're going to have to first complete the main campaign in order to do this. Once you've completed the main campaign, there's different world uh, quests around. You'll see them with little blue banners. Again, you can only get those after you complete the main campaign. But there's going to be one at Failsafe on uh, Nessus in the Exodus Black area. Now it's green, you can see the banner, because I've already completed the first two quests. It's very simple. You just go up and talk to her. You're gonna see the ex, uh, uh, or the O Captain quest in the Exodus Black area where Failsafe is. After you've complete that, do the My Captain. So do O Captain, My Captain. They're very short, easy quests. Complete those, you're gonna get two items. One is the Drang, it's a sidearm. And then we're gonna have to do several steps in this quest line using this weapon you'll also get a note that you need to take back to the cryptarch so head back to the tower sometimes i look out talk to master rahul here and he will then you're going to give him the note and he's going to give you the relics of the golden age this is a multi-step quest here we got three objectives we got to decrypt five legendary engrams which you can also use the legendary rewards you get from the Status factions uh, so those those would count towards the five you also need to decrypt one exotic engram now you also need to get 10 kills in Nessus with the Drang. So that's very easy, it's very simple, but you're gonna have to farm the exotic Engram. I did public events on Earth for about 40 minutes or so before I got an exotic Engram. So once you've got the Engrams decrypted and you got the 10 kills, head back to the Cryptarch and we're gonna accept a new item here. We gotta to talk to the, another Cryptarch and that's the actual Skyburner's Oath that I just decrypted. So what we need to do is head to Earth. So in Earth there, you've got the farm. So that's where we're gonna launch into. We're returning to the farm. Now we're gonna go talk to Tyra over here, another Cryptarch. Let's begin. 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 let us now you can see here we need to do two things. We need to defeat multiple fallen with the Drang without reloading. And it's actually three to be exact. So get three kills, reload, three kills ten times. Second objective is to defeat a powerful fallen with the Drang. You gotta get ten kills of fallen majors. Now I'm gonna show you how I farm this. I went to Nessus once again, the Exodus Black Landing Zone. As soon as you spawn in here, just head straight across. And you're going to see an opening right in front of us there. At the end of this is going to be a Fallen Major. So I'm going to go in, kill him, and then I'm going to open up my director and land at the Exodus Black Landing Zone again. And then just repeat that ten times. So just skip all the enemies until you get to the end here. Now our Major is going to be right here around the corner to the right. So kill him however you want. Or take his health down, rather, however you want. But you have to get the killing blow with the drain. So I'm going to go and just use my super here. You can use a couple rockets as a good way to get his health down. But you have to get the killing blow with the drain. So take that out, and I'm going to go chase him down here. There we go. Now immediately I'm going to go fly back to the Exodus Black landing zone and then run back in there. All told, this was about 25 minutes maybe. I took part in a public event as part of that as well. So once you get 10 kills of fallen majors, you have to go back to the farm. To open up uh, Earth, the EDZ, uh, select the farm landing zone. Then we're going to come in here. Tyra is going to give us another step here that we need to do. Let's go ahead and accept that. Ooh, got ourselves a legendary engram. I forgot about that. All right, so the next step, let's go and open up. It's going to be listed always in the kinetic weapons section of your inventory. So right there, you just got to complete one quest. It's the Exodus Crash Strike. Now, I did this solo, but feel free to grab a fire team. What you're going to do is go to uh, Exodus Black Landing Zone, just to the right of Sail Face, uh, Fail Safe. You're going to see this uh, world event here. 
the relics of the golden age this is the next step line this is a again this is a strike now i did this completely solo at 250 power now you don't have to get all the way to the end but half well maybe a little more than halfway through you're gonna find kendrick seven a nice little fun ball of joy here all you need to do is kill it and then you can go fly away you don't even have to even get the strike so there we are our next step is to talk to tyra so we're gonna go ahead and do that and she's finally going to hand us the Sturm after all that. Not too difficult. A little kind of frustrating as far as getting the exotic engram. But there's the Sturm. Let's go ahead and let's go take a look at this thing. So you can see there's a hand cannon. My power on this is 276. It's Your power is going to uh, be different depending on what power level you were when you completed this quest. It's usually about 15, 20 power above what your actual power is, unless you're up in the 300 range. So there you go. Accomplice kills with this weapon, fills a magazine. So that's kind of nice. Extended barrel, extended mag. That's always nice to get. It has a slow reload, but with a larger magazine. And then you got Storm in Stress, kills with the energy weapon that actually will grant precision bonus damage. And then you got the Combat Grip. So that's it, guys. That is how you get the Strom. I know it was a pretty wordy video. I apologize. But thanks for watching. Hit the like button. And, of course, subscribe.